SkyDrive is a service that, like many of the cloud-based services, allows you to store files on your computer and online and share them. We're going to look at some of those features right now. I'm going to sign into my SkyDrive account, and what you will notice and see is that there's these tiles that represent folders. These folders are matched with files on my computer, folders that are available on my computer. You'll notice I'm coming to you from the Macintosh operating system because I wanted to highlight the fact that this works both Windows and Mac. It works really, really well on a Windows computer, especially Windows 8. So I want to show you right now, I can quickly create a folder here. I'm going to give that a name, Earth Systems. And because I've gone here and gotten the SkyDrive app, that reflects immediately on here. Let's take a look at that. So I click on the SkyDrive app and I can download SkyDrive for the Mac or Windows 8, 7, Windows Vista. There are even mobile apps. I'm going to go back to my SkyDrive and you will see that that Earth Systems folder now exists on my SkyDrive. Just had to take a moment to refresh. So now that anything that I place into that SkyDrive folder, I've got this Summer Vacation Apps video. Actually, that's not a video. Let's pull this in instead. This image is pulled into my SkyDrive folder, and then this image, and this PDF. As soon as I do that, the SkyDrive application on my computer will begin updating and putting those things up. It'll take a minute to reflect the files. Folders usually reflect immediately. I'm going to refresh my page just to see. You see it updating right there. Refresh. When I refresh, those three files are already reflected on my SkyDrive. What's particularly nice about this is I can now select that folder online, choose the sharing option, and get a link. There are three different types of links you can share. The most secure one is the view only. This creates a link that only people who have the link will be able to see the files. You can then either email this link to them or share it in some other way. There's also an edit link that allows people to see the files and make changes to the files and the folder. Most of you probably won't want to do this except with people that are colleagues or trusted friends. Finally, there's a public link that allows people to see and view the files by doing web searches. Only probably useful if you're really wanting to make materials that are shared with the whole world. I'm going to create a view only link. This link is long. One thing I love about SkyDrive is there's a shorten option. I'm going to click that and it gives me a shortened URL. This URL is permanent and will always stay the same so you can continue to use it every time you want. I'm going to copy that by doing a control click or right click and then I close it. Notice you can remove the permissions anytime you want. So now on my own personal website I'm going to add a bookmark that I can share with people. Give that a name. Save this. And now I have a link that when I click on it brings me to the SkyDrive folder where people can see and download materials that I want to share with them. Particularly useful for the students in my class or for the parents. Hope that you find that helpful.